Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing some Minecraft on a server that I have set up for me and a bunch of friends and friends of friends. And it's just going to be a really good time. We're all going to hang out. You know, we're going to build bases. We're going to sell stuff. You know, it's going to be real fun. Um, I had some recording issues, so I'm trying a voiceover for the first time. And I hope you enjoy. We started things off, as most people would, with getting off the Mushroom Island, as there is no wood. So we had boats, we got to land, we got more wood, as wood is necessary for literally everything in this game, at least in the beginning. So we grabbed ourselves some wood, and my favorite death ever happened. This guy, Enderak Gaming, threw a snowball at a bee, Dang it. and the bee killed him. I threw an egg at a bee, and then it killed me. Oh, I didn't see that you actually died. As we explored, we found this giant jump into a little pond, I guess. and. We decided, well, I decided I was going to take the jump, and I believe that Tessa followed me. And while we were down here, you know, I found some of the copper, and I was like, hey, I haven't played with copper yet, because I haven't played this game for quite a while. Like, let's grab some copper. And then I found one of these things, which is like a 1% spawn chance. And, you know, it's cool to find a rare thing like this, but not when you want an actual village, because villages have more useful things. We then found a shipwreck, which shipwreck's cool. We got some of the new moss block, which I guess is nice, but otherwise, it wasn't too great. We just left. I found something new. I didn't realize lapis could actually generate on the surface now. So I found some surface lapis, which can apparently happen now. And then decided we were like, we found this nice cave entrance. And I was like, you know, I'm going to go down this cave. I'm going to get myself some gear. And uh, that might not have been a great idea, but I did make a comment about how gold is essentially like butter, it's just weak, it's pathetic, it breaks easy, it doesn't deal much damage, you know. Really the only advantage that it has is that it's like good to enchant or whatever, it has a higher enchantability. But it's fairly useless. So I was making a joke about it being butter, as butter is essentially worthless, and Indorot Gaming said he would make a pack for it. I almost died, which was not pleasant, but we got ourselves in a box. We're good. No harm done. Whatsoever. I mean, it was scary, but we're good. Then I was going around and I was like, Oh look, some smooth basalt, guys. You know, what's this stuff? Does it only generate in like special spots? And everybody was like, Oh, that you found an amethyst geode. I'm like, a what? And like an amethyst geode. And I'm like, Oh yeah, is that is what like generates around those? They're like, Yeah, dig into it, you know. And I was like, Okay. So, I did, and of course, they were right, and it was an amethyst geode, and I was like, oh cool, because it's the first one I've been in, so I just looked at it and went, yeah, that looks good, and it was right, which was nice. It wouldn't really matter, because it would have just grown a new one anyways, but I got a bit of that stuff. I then stumbled onto this spider spawner, which, you know, it's not the best, they're kind of annoying, they're hard to make like farms for or whatever because they can climb walls and they are too wide and whatever. I looted the chest and yeah, not really anything too exciting. It was just kind of whatever. Battle. That's about it. I then crafted myself a good old spyglass, which I thought gave you an achievement just for using it. But it apparently doesn't. You apparently need to look at certain things. So I decided I would get myself some diamonds and go like strip mine for some diamonds, which I very quickly found out that it's not very productive. I strip mined for, I don't even know how long, this is only part of the part of the time I spent strip mining, but I found absolutely nothing for the longest time. And then people were like, oh, just go to caves, go to caves, and I'm like, okay. So I went into a cave, and of course, right after I entered a cave, boom. There were some diamonds. So I was like, oh, okay, so now just caving is the best, you know? You should just always go caving. Well, it was a single diamond, which was lame, but sure, okay. I then started digging a tunnel back to that spider spawner, and I found diamonds. Like, it was only a few hundred blocks, and I found a vein of five diamonds. I was like, oh sweet, I must have got really lucky, you know? Then it happened again, still same digging path. 
and I found diamonds again. I was like, oh wow, this is great. And then it happened again. So that first time I was mining, I must have just been getting ridiculously unlucky because it was just dumb. I found this stuff and I was like, oh, hey guys, I found this cool, you know, there's a block of raw iron here. Like, I've never seen that. It's, what does that mean? And they're like, oh, well. What's this thing? Oh, wait. Wait, wait you, you found, found the giant iron veins. You found a giant iron vein. Those have like Those thousands are really, of really, iron really, really rare. Those are very rare. Like, actually, like, one of the rarest things ever. You just found like, a giant iron vein. I was like, oh, sweet, an iron vein, you know? Cool, that's that's nice, I guess. That is so rare. But then they were like... You, you just got no, that very... is, It'll give you stacks of iron if you mine yeah. all of it. I made it back to base. And Tessa had set up this little nice place. It was looking pretty good. At this point, I decided... I wanted to get myself an axolotl. So, one of the other members of the server had an axolotl. Had several axolotls he was willing to give up, but his base was far from mine. So, I decided to build another tunnel and build him another portal so that I could get to his base. And in the meantime, I grabbed one of those achievements for the spyglass and then I dug for quite a while. And I got myself some quartz, you know, because quartz is nice for redstone components and whatnot. But I dug over... I hate basalt deltas, guys. You know, I dug over this one and was like, ugh, they're just the worst. So I built the portal, I jumped through the portal, you know, things are going well. But then... I, I generated into this room, and I was like, no way. That's a skelly spawner, you know, they're, they're my favorite spawners in the game. Aside from like blaze spawners obviously and he had no idea this was underneath of his base so that was cool next i got my axolotls from real i got two white ones and a yellow one so they're now my friends this is great uh nathan i have what you i have what you requested Indorot gaming came back and said the texture pack is done butter <laughs> Butter it dot is. zip. <laughs> it is here. And also, he had a really good point here. Also, you will now be using butter to trade with piglins, which makes way more sense than gold. Because <laughs> like, what are what are pigs what are pigs gonna want more? A giant stick of butter or a gold ingot? I mean, come on. <laughs> I want to show you guys this glorious pack. You can see he's obviously desaturated the gold some so that it's a bit faded more faded and also you can see it's like the butter is melting on the actual armor set it, it looks really cool in my opinion especially the helmet i really like the helmet and he's changed the name of things like we now have the butter nugget and he even made the buttered apple which is like also melting so it's got the droopy bits and then we have our our butter stick and our raw butter and Probably my favorite part, one of my favorite parts, is the actual sword. Now, as an item, it doesn't look great, but when you actually see it in F5 mode, like someone holding it, it looks really cool with the butter melting, like the sword just dripping and stuff. I, I think it looks really good, cool, and I really, I, I want to do a huge shout out to Enderot Gaming for actually putting this together. Um, he did it in like no time at all. It was so fast. So huge shout out to him. Go check out his channel, it should be in the description. He doesn't have videos yet, but he plans to put on some videos, so... I don't know, maybe he'll do some texture pack videos, different things like this for you guys. So, go check him out. And yeah, just a huge thanks to him. So, in the meantime, while I've been doing all this other stuff, Tessa, who I'm basing with, decided to go ahead and uh, put together a sugarcane farm, which she's finished filling out later. And also... I got us an enchanting table, which I didn't have enough leather to get all the books, but you know, it happened. So <laughs> this is just really irritating to me. I was fighting these Endermen and I hit this guy and he just ran off. I was like, oh, well, that's kind of weird. So I aggroed this other guy in the meantime. I was like, ah, oh, I'll just fight this guy, that other guy will come back. So I aggroed this guy and I fought him, you know, I hit him, I hit him, you know, it was whatever. I took out the Enderman, it was fine. After taking out this guy, though, I was like, 
So that other guy never showed up. I wonder where he is. So I went over here just to do a quick look. I don't want to get too close because I don't want him to hit off. Hit, like anything to hit me off. But he wasn't there. And then boom. Where did he come from? Like. Yeah. That was our first death. I was part of no deaths gang. Zero deaths gang. You know. But I got my first death. After building that long nether tunnel, I decided that it wasn't worth traveling in the bottom of the nether, so I wanted to get to the roof. And I'm very proud of myself. I got it first try. Yes! It was just... Oh. The excitement from that, I expected to take, like, so many tries. But I got it first try, which was great. I built up a portal and decided I was going to break the bedrock so that I could still get down underneath the bedrock. And I hadn't done this trick in a while, but I got it first try, which, oh, the happiness. It was good. Once you know how to do it, it's it's quite easy, but you gotta learn to do it. So I lit up our portal, and I went through, and, oh, and everything linked great. And it also worked back. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good night or morning, or afternoon, or whenever it is. Stay hydrated, and until the next video. Bye.